Hello, everybody. Swaminath here. Today, we are going to see SAP MM Cap Gemini interview questions. Yesterday, one of my students has attended it and he has given all the details. And apart from tell me about yourself, about your project, about your work experience, about your um, education qualification, directly we are going to get into the subject. The first question they have asked is integration with SD, SAP SD. There are two places it has got in, two business processes it has got integrated. One is individual purchase order and third party. You have to say both the things, both the business processes. These two are business processes. These two are business processes. Both the individual purchase order and third party. If you want, I have put a video, I have put the link in the description, check the link, individual purchase order. And they have asked, what is the item category group? First, they have asked, what is the processes? You have to say like, customer walks in, once walks in, sales order will be created. Based on the sales order, on the background of the sales order, a purchase requisition will be created. Based on the purchase requisition, a purchase order will be created and goods receipt will be done and vendor invoice will be done. And from the SD side, it is customer issue and customer billing. It's closely integrated with MM and SD are closely integrated. Now, once the customer walks in, we get the material from the vendor and we give it to the customer. This is what the individual purchase order is all about. And they have asked what, what is the item category group in material master. Item category group is bank. B A N C bank. Based on this only, purchase requisition will be created. Bank. And then they have asked, what is third party sales? Same. Customer walks in, purchase order, sales order will be created. Based on the sales order, the purchase requisition will be created. Based on the purchase requisition, purchase order will be created and no goods reserved. So because from the vendor place, the material will be shifted to the customer's place. The material will be, the stock will be delivered to the customer from the vendor's plant. So the material movement will not be happened inside the company. So this is what the difference between third party and individual purchase order. They ask the difference between individual purchase order and the third party. This is what the difference is. In individual purchase order, inventory will be updated, but third party inventory will not be updated. So once the inventory updated in the individual purchase order, it will be sales order stock in individual purchase order. But in third party, it is not individual purchase order stock or any, any other stock. Because the inventory is not going to get updated in the system. That is third party. So they have asked what is the item category group for third party. It is BANS, B-A-N-S. BANS for B-A-N-S for third party. Next question. Let's go to the next question. Integration with SAP FIC. The two places it has got integrated. One is inventory, the other one is tax configuration. In the inventory, OBYC transaction it is integrated in OBYC transaction. Three places BSX, GBB, and WRX. In OBYC transaction. These three you have to see. BSX is inventory posting. GBB is offsetting inventory posting. Finally, WRX is GRIR clearing. GRIR clearing. All this GL account will, will be given by FIC workers. GL account. Next. Next question. Valuation and account assignment. Very, very important. Valuation and account assignment. They have asked, what is valuation and account assignment? Valuation, we have a configuration. Based on the valuation from the material which we have created, valuation class, which been selected in the material master, it gets posted in inventory, BSX, GBB and WRX. GBB and WRX. This is what the definition is all about. So, 
we have to create dev devas for the configuration. First is account category references. Account category references. We have to create account category references. And then we have to create valuation class. In material master, you will be selecting that valuation class 3000 for raw material. That is valuation. Account category reference 0001. 0 0001. It's a standard. Valuation class is also standard, but they have asked how to create it. They have asked the path, SPRO path. SPRO, IMG. IMG, I'll just show you where the path is. Where the path is. Let's go to, i show you the system itself. Go to SPRO, SCP reference IMG, material management, scroll down, material management, go to valuation and account assignment, Account determination, defined valuation class. This is the place where you create account category reference, valuation class, and material type account category assignment. That is references. All these three you have to tell. And then a yeah, link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Check the link. Valuation and account assignment. Link has been provided in the description. Check the link. How to create all this? You have to tell them all this. Okay. Next question they have asked is very important. Material type. Where would you create a material type? Transaction code OMS2. OMS2. Transaction code OMS2. OMS2. The place where you create the material type. That also I'll show you in the SAP system itself. From that, OMS2, OMS2, transaction code OMS2. This is the place where you have, you have to create the material type, spare parts, raw material, finished goods, semi-finished, packaging material, all will be created here only. Okay. And moreover, we didn't discuss about tax classification. Tax classification. This is the one. very important topic. Tax classification. Tax classification. So they have asked what how to create a tax. What is the configurations involved in tax configuration? Very, very important question. A link has been provided in the description about creation of the tax configuration. Check the link. Very important. It is closely integrated with FICV. Tax configuration is closely integrated with FICV. FICV. So they have asked what is the tax configuration. They have asked what are all the procedure in creation of the tax classification. Tax configuration. First is from the finance side, you have to create, you have to create a condition type. And then you have to create a calculation procedure. And then you have to assign country to cal tax calculation procedure. Calculation procedure needs to be assigned with the country. Finally, you have to create a tax classification code, tax code in transaction code FTXP. Transaction FTXP transaction. There you create a there you give the condition condition report. There you create the condition percentage of tax will be given in the FTXP transaction. FTXP transaction. This is what the expected answer. Again, I repeat creation of the condition type calculation procedure. Assign country to the cal calculation procedure. Finally, FTXP tax codes you have to create. This is what the expected answer. Okay. Next question. Material type. Material master. 
So what are all the views in material mass they have asked? Basic data one, where they asked, where would you create a material? MM01, so that everybody knows. The views they have asked, what are all the views in material mass? Basic data one, basic data two, purchasing, MRP type, MRP, general plan data one, general plan data two, and accounting. Now, let me show you in this system itself. MM01. Here, basic data, this is for sales. Basic data one, basic data two, purchasing MRP one. Finally, general plan data one, storage one, general plan data storage two, and finally, and they have asked for how do you create the number range? Transaction code is MM and R transaction. MM and MM and This is the expected answer. MM and R MM and Now, I have given a, you have given a material master number ranges. Check the description below. You will have the video on this. Next question. When material document number range, OMPT transaction code, transaction code, I just show you OMPT, transaction code OMPT. OMPT. Here you create metal document number. Yeah, metal document. OMPT. Intervals. Click on to this. Change group. Here you create metal document number. A yeah, link has been provided in the description. Check the link. Material document number. Yeah, material document number. Check the link. We'll get to know it. Next is, let's go to next slide. Plant activation. They have asked for plant activation. Where would you create a plant? And how do you activate a plant? I create a plant in SPR also. Enterprise structure, logistics general. I create a plant. And OMX1, let me show you in the system. A link has been provided in the description. Check the link for the creation of the plant. I'll just put the link. Check, check the link. Okay. O, go to, once you create plant, go to OMX3. Assignments of material ledger types to the valuation. Material ledger needs to be assigned to the valuation. That is valuation area is plant. Now, go to OMX Two, material ledger type. You create a material ledger type here. We have a 9000 as a standard. You can use that itself. Finally, OMX1. OMX1. Activation of material ledger. You, create, you activate the material. Finally, CKM start. CKM start. Here you just... Activate the plant. These are all the four steps. OMX1, OMX3, OMX2, OMX1. Finally, CKM start. All this transaction goes. Next, next, next. Let's go to the next slide. Vendor master also they have asked, supplier master. Supplier master they have asked, how do you create a supplier master? You create a supplier master, OMST, transaction code, account group. You create account group in OMST. This is for supplier master, configuration. So configuration. Expected result, expected answer is, OMST you create a account group, this is for number range assignment and which are all the field is, which are all the field is, which are all the field is, I will just show you in the system itself. Mandate repeat, whichever the field is, OMST, 
whichever the field is mandatory field, whichever the field is optional field, whichever the field is you want to do, display that can be done in account group page, OMS. And the next is, next is you have to assign this account group with vendor, PN, vendor, PN. And then in the cross application components, cross application components, you do assignments. Three places, three expected answers. Expected answer is OMSD and the assignments of account group. You create account group. In the account group, you assign BN. Partner determination. You have to do partner determination, BN. And then the cross application components, you have to create the, you have to create FLBN00, FLBN01. Needs to be assigned to the account group. This there. So must answer FLBN00 and FLBN01. The link has been provided in the description. Check the link. The cross application components, you have to assign this to the account group. Vendor account. These are all the questions they have asked in Thank you.